In this instruction video, we will discuss experience sampling, a sampling method that examines participants' experiences and behavior in context. The main feature of experience sampling is that the feelings, thoughts, actions, context and activities of the participants are measured repeatedly as they go about their daily lives. A simple example of experience sampling is that people participating in a study receive a signal through their mobile phone and are asked to answer one or more questions, such as, how are you feeling right now? This question will pop up several times a day. In experience sampling studies of subjective variables, participants generally complete brief surveys about their immediate environment, behaviors, feelings or thoughts several times a day for a short or longer period. This can result in hundreds of responses per participant. But experience sampling could also include more objective measures of participants' experiences by means of activity monitors, random sound recordings, or other assessments. Experience sampling studies focus on examining participants' experience in context as they live their lives. The aim is to understand individual experience as it is happening. This provides a complete picture of the variable of interest. For example, by measuring physical activity in the moment, we are better able to understand not just how many calories are burned, but also when, how, and with whom calories are burned. This provides a fuller picture of physical activity. There are three different sampling approaches for experience sampling studies. Random sampling, fixed sampling, and event-focused sampling. Random sampling entails that participants' experiences are assessed at random times, for example by setting a random alarm on a mobile device. When the alarm goes off, participants should complete a measure or some measure is taken. This sampling approach is most appropriate when the researcher is not targeting a specific context or does not expect targeted behaviors to occur in one specific time frame. Fixed sampling involves sampling of experiences at specified times. For example, participants are asked to answer some questions at 10 o'clock in the morning each day for two weeks. A well-known example of a fixed sampling study is a daily diary study. The fixed sampling approach is most appropriate when the emphasis is on greater reflectivity. The event-focused sampling approach involves measuring participants' experiences in response to particular events. For instance, students are asked to report on their experience after each time they study together with a friend. This sampling approach is most appropriate when the researcher wants to examine the effect of a particular kind of event in participants' lives or when the researcher is interested in events that rarely occur. Event-focused sampling allows to keep focus only on the events of interest. Experience sampling offers several advantages to educational studies. For example, Experience sampling provides access to context and subjective experiences that we would not otherwise reach. Second, experience sampling offers proximity to individuals' experiences because data is collected about their lives as it is happening, which reduces retrospective and other biases. Experience sampling also offers the ability to study intra-individual change so change within one individual. To summarize, experience sampling is a sampling method that examines participants' experiences and behavior in context. The main feature of experience sampling is that the feelings, thoughts, actions, context and activities of the participants are measured repeatedly as they go about their daily lives.